In this video, we'll explore the relationship between chicken and diabetes, backed by studies and references, and provide you with helpful tips for incorporating chicken into your diabetes-friendly diet. So, whether you're a chicken lover or just looking for some healthy and delicious protein options, keep watching to learn more about chicken and diabetes. Chicken is a popular and widely consumed meat around the world. It is a good source of protein and contains essential nutrients such as vitamin B12 and iron. However, when it comes to diabetes, the focus is on the effect of chicken on blood glucose levels. Research Studies One study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that consuming chicken as part of a high-protein diet did not have a significant effect on blood glucose levels in people with type 2 diabetes. The study involved 14 participants who were randomly assigned to either a high-protein diet, 25% protein, or a standard protein diet, 15% protein, for six weeks. Both groups consumed chicken as their primary source of protein, and blood glucose levels were measured at regular intervals. The study found no significant difference in blood glucose levels between the two groups, suggesting that chicken can be a safe and healthy protein source for people with diabetes. Another study published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics found that consuming chicken as part of a low-carbohydrate diet improved blood glucose control in people with type 2 diabetes. The study involved 93 participants who were randomly assigned to either a low-carbohydrate diet or a low-fat diet for three months. Both groups consumed chicken as their primary source of protein, and blood glucose levels were measured at regular intervals. The study found that participants on the low-carbohydrate diet had significantly lower blood glucose levels compared to those on the low-fat diet, suggesting that chicken can be a beneficial food choice for people with diabetes when consumed as part of a low-carbohydrate diet. It's worth noting that the preparation method of chicken can also affect its impact on blood glucose levels. For example, fried chicken can be high in calories, unhealthy fats, and carbohydrates from the breading, which can lead to spikes in blood glucose levels. Grilled, baked, or roasted chicken is a healthier choice, as it contains less added fats and carbohydrates. Weight Management and Heart Health Research suggests that 25 to 30 grams of protein per meal can help us feel more full. Protein-rich meals can make us feel fuller despite us eating less, which helps to promote better weight management. Healthier weight leads to improvements in risk factors for heart problems such as high triglyceride levels and high blood pressure. Food rich in protein, chicken can help with weight management and reduce the risk of heart disease. Better mood. Chicken contains the amino acid tryptophan, which has been linked to higher levels of serotonin in our brains. The tryptophan levels in the chicken aren't high enough to make you feel instantly euphoric, but studies show it could help to boost serotonin levels when paired with other factors. 6 Diabetes-Friendly Recipes with Chicken Chicken is as American as apple pie. It's tasty, versatile, economical, and easy to prepare. But chicken can often be battered and fried, coated in a sweet glaze, or swimming in a sugary sauce. This is bad news if you have diabetes and want to limit your intake of carbs and sugar. Chicken can be a great option for people with diabetes. All cuts of chicken are high in protein and many are low in fat. When prepared in a healthy way, chicken can be a great ingredient in a healthy diabetic eating plan. Tips for preparation. Try these tips for preparing chicken so it's less likely to raise your blood sugar. Remove the skin from the chicken before cooking it. Use boneless, skinless chicken breasts whenever possible. They're lower in fat than other chicken parts. In most recipes, chicken breasts may be substituted for other chicken parts. If you're cooking chicken on the stove, use cooking spray, low sodium broth, or olive oil instead of butter. Shredded chicken is perfect for making healthy chicken sandwiches, chicken tacos, and chicken salads. Some recipes call for shredding just cooked chicken with two forks. Instead, let you stand mixer or hand mixer set on the low setting do the work for you in seconds. Tips for cooking. Poached chicken breasts are great for making warm or cold chicken salads and chicken casseroles. To poach chicken, add boneless, skinless chicken breasts to a saucepan and cover them with water or low sodium broth and desired seasonings. Bring the mixture to a boil over medium high heat, reduce heat to low, cover the pan, and simmer chicken until its internal temperature is 165 degrees, this takes about 15 minutes. Cooking chicken in the oven helps keep it moist. To make baked chicken, rub raw chicken lightly with olive oil and season it with your favorite spices. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and bake the chicken until its internal temperature reaches 165 degrees, about 30 minutes depending on the size of the chicken pieces. Avoid crock pot chicken recipes that use canned soups, high sodium sauces and broths, full fat cheeses, and prepared sauces made with added sugar. Opt for recipes that use vegetables, spices, brown rice, 
legumes, Greek yogurt, fruits, and low-sodium broths. Asian Lemon Chicken If you're a fan of Chinese takeout, this chicken stir-fry recipe was made for you. It uses fresh lemons, spices, and bell peppers. When you make this recipe, you'll bring the flavors of authentic Asian chicken to your table. Baked Chicken with Onions and Leeks Onions and leeks are from the same family, but they taste different. Leeks are sweeter and milder than onions. In this recipe, chicken is glazed in Dijon mustard and roasted with a fusion of leeks, onions, garlic, and shallots. According to a 2015 animal study, onions lower high blood sugar levels when given the diabetes drug metformin. Oven Fried Parmesan Chicken Drumsticks Think you can't bite into a fried chicken leg if you have diabetes? Think again. The chicken drumsticks in this recipe are coated in a savory Parmesan cheese and breadcrumb crust. They're oven baked instead of fried. Chicken drumsticks are higher in fat than chicken breasts, so be sure to balance your meal with low-fat sides. Drumsticks are still a great source of protein and much cheaper to buy. Perfect Roast Chicken A great roast chicken is a staple in many recipe arsenals. It's the perfect meal option for an elegant dinner party or a casual family dinner. For this recipe, apples, onions, garlic, and spices are stuffed into the cavity of a whole chicken. The chicken then gets an olive oil rubbed down and is roasted to moist perfection. Make sure to peel off the skin before eating the meat. Use the leftovers to create a healthy chicken salad made with Greek yogurt and celery. Marinated Grilled Chicken with Zucchini If you've got raw chicken in the fridge, a bumper crop of zucchini, and a grill, then you've got the makings of a healthy dinner. After being marinated in a blend of clementine orange juice, olive oil, and garlic, the chicken tenderloins in this recipe are grilled alongside zucchini rounds. Zucchini is a non-starchy vegetable so it's low in carbs. This recipe is easy to prepare, but make sure you allow time for the chicken to marinate, the longer the better. Crock-Pot Mexican Chicken Soup This recipe only has four ingredients, making it perfect for busy families. It's a breeze to prepare in the crock pot before you head out in the morning and is ready when you return at the end of the day. Salsa and pepper jack cheese add a spicy kick to savory chicken thighs. The American Diabetes Association considers tomatoes, the main ingredient in salsa, a diabetes superfood. Tomatoes are low in carbs and high in vitamin C, vitamin E, and iron. For extra zest, use hot salsa instead of mild. In conclusion, chicken can be a safe and healthy protein source for people with diabetes, especially when consumed as part of a low-carbohydrate diet. As with any food, moderation, and preparation method are key factors to consider when incorporating chicken into a diabetes-friendly diet. It is always best to consult a registered dietitian or healthcare professional for personalized dietary advice. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.